In Goma, we are facing uh, a progression of uh, armed groups who are fighting uh, against uh, governmental force. And uh, actually, they are at Saki, who are at um, uh, 27 kilometers to Goma. And people uh, are continuing to afflict to Goma and, um, and the site near the, the Goma town. <laughs> They are building uh, themselves uh, some uh, makeshift shelters, and they are they are they, they are needs uh, uh, a stay very uh, very huge. A spontaneous site uh, are uh, the the kind of uh, site who are building by the hands of uh, of population. Uh, no humanitarian action are there in the beginning and. Uh, all the activities in those spontaneous sites are the, 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 the proper effort of population. That's why the conditions are very, very difficult. I was talking to Mshaki, and I was in Saki. I was talking to him for three months. I was talking to him for three months. I was talking to him Magumu wenyewe tulipata mungia uh, ni mabombe. Mpe sinyaleke tulipoteza vitu yote. Just, tulitoka mwumunani mwivera briske saa mabombe zile anzanguka mkaritia tukikimbili hapa. The situation is very uh, difficult because uh, fighting is intensive and uh, we haven't a humanitarian corridor to be sure that we can uh, go and help people who are in need. This uh, situation continues. We, we are in the third, the, the, the third year of this, this conflict and the uh, population continue to, 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 to affix to Goma. Uh, IDP site continue to have new persons, new families, and needs continue to grow, to, 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 to grow. Without peace, we continue to have violence, fightings, and uh, the consequence in community, in population, continue to be the generation to generations.